Hello and uh, welcome to another uh, short video, this time on the concept of kin kinetics of rigid bodies. Uh, I have here a, a pulley uh, for which we know the mass moment of inertia. So given that mass moment of inertia I with respect to O, with respect to the axis passing through O is equal to let's say 3.75 kilogram meter squared, right? And then also we know that the mass of the disc or the pulley is, uh, the mass of this pulley is 60 kilograms and the mass of this block is 20 kilograms. Release from rest, right? As you can see the radius of the pulley or the disc is 0.4 meters and Release from rest, we want to find out what is the, uh, couple, actually we want to try to find a couple of things. We want to find the angular acceleration, alpha, and also tension in the cord. So, you know, typically people get uh, tempted to say, oh, the tension is equal to the weight of this block here, 20 times 9.81, and that's wrong. Because once, yeah, that the tension would be uh, 196.2 newtons, 20 times 9.81, if there's no motion. But since things are going to move, this block is going to move and the pulley is going to rotate. Uh, obviously, tension is going to be different. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to draw two, two free body diagrams. Obviously, anytime you're trying to solve kinetic problems, of course, kinetics can be... Uh, done by different methods. It could be done by second law or modified second law or work energy or impulse momentum. Here we're going to use actually the uh, modified second law. So I'm going to draw a couple of free body diagrams. First, the free body diagram of this uh, pulley. So we know that we do have reactions due to the bearing here at the center, OX and OY. We also have the weight of uh, this, which is 60 kilograms times 9.81, whatever that is, right? And don't forget that this tension here is also an unknown, nothing else. So we have the weight, we have the reactions at O, the you know, typical X and Y component of reaction and the tension. Now, right below this, I'm gonna draw the free body diagram of the block. So the same tension that you see here is right here. So that's the same tension. And then obviously we have the uh, the weight of this guy, the weight being 20 times 9.81, which is 196.2. We can do that at the end. Okay, now we have two, um, basically two equations. One equation comes from the free body diagram of the pulley by taking moment about O and setting it equal to I sub O or I sub bar O times alpha. The, uh, that is the mass moment of inertia that is given. That is the mass moment of inertia with respect to the axis through point O, perpendicular to the uh, to this picture. Okay, so since the motion obviously is downward, so basically we know that this guy is going to accelerate in this direction, alpha, and we know this guy is going to accelerate down with acceleration of A. So let's get back here. So I'll pick counterclockwise to be positive. So the only force that actually has moment about point O right here is the tension. So that would be T times 0.4. That's what's causing the uh, rotation. And that's equal to 3.75 times alpha, I times alpha. So that's one equation. Let's hold on to this. And then the other equation is coming from this guy, from the block, 20 kilogram block. One thing we have to be careful here as we some forces in the y direction equal to m m a y. Whatever direction we pick actually applies to both sides of the equation. So here, for example, we have tension going up the 196.2, which is the 20 times 9.81, right? But we have mass, which is 20 kilograms, times acceleration of this guy, but that's downwards. So you have to put negative a here, otherwise things are not going to work out. So you end up getting minus 28. Now we notice here that we have one unknown here, tension, one unknown is alpha, and one unknown is A. So we have three unknowns, but we only have two equations. Of course, we know that 
from kinematics there must be a relation between acceleration of this block and angular acceleration of the pulley and that relation as you know is that, that the tangential acceleration which happens to be the acceleration is equal to r alpha r being the radius of the pulley 0.4 times alpha so if i go ahead and replace this acceleration by 0.4 alpha and try to solve for the unknowns remember the unknowns are alpha and tension we end up getting an alpha of 11.3 uh, radians per second squared clearly counterclockwise and um, solving also for the tension that comes out to be about 106 newtons which is totally different than if this guy was in equilibrium and tension would have been just 196.2 okay so I uh, hope that you enjoy the video if you want to see more videos please su subscribe uh, uh, to my channel and uh, I'll hopefully come back soon with another uh, video different subjects different topics again as usual as always thanks for watching and listening